Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, we're going to go over the spelling words and phonics for second grade journeys, lesson one. And we're going to write 16 words for the anchor text, Henry and Mudge. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper. And you're going to write your numbers 1 through 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 16. So if you need to, if you need to, push pause, get a pencil and a piece of paper, write your numbers 1 through 16. And the challenge at the end of this lesson is for you to either use crayons or your pencil and to rainbow write your words one, two, three more times each. One, two, three. So that's your challenge at the end of this lesson. So let's get started. Our learning target. I can correctly read and spell second grade words with short A as in sat and short I as in lip. So read it again with me. I can correctly read and spell second grade words with short A, 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 a as in sat, I'm stretching it out, sat. And short I as in lip, lip, lip. So success criteria, that means how will you know you're successful at correctly reading and spelling second grade words that with short A, A, and short I, I. Well, if this is our roadmap to success. It's like climbing a learning mountain and we want to get to the top. I will, number one, we're going to read and say each word. Number two, I will. Spell and write each word on your paper. And I will do my best. I guarantee if you do your best, you're going to be successful. And then your challenge at the end of this lesson is to write each word three times each. Rainbow writing, either with a pencil or with crayons. So words with short A as in sat and short I as in lip. So here's sat, we stretch it out, sat, sat. I'm gonna say this all through the lesson, stretch like stretching a rubber band or a slinky, and then shrinking or saying it fast, sat, say it fast, sat. And short I, i, lip, stretch it and shrink it, lip. So we've got sat and lip. So here's our first word. Number one, what do you think it is? Given our picture clues. Sad, stretch it out. Sad, shrink it, sad. Stretch it, sad, shrink it, sad, S-A-D. Put it on your paper, S-A-D. If you need to, you can push pause. If I'm going too quickly. Number two, number two. What do we see here in our pictures? What are they doing? Number two, dig, D-I-G, stretch it, dig, shrink it, dig, stretch it, dig, shrink it, dig, D-I-G. They are all digging. Number three. Mm, two different uh, two different definitions for this word. Jam, jam as in what you put on your toast, strawberry jam, blueberry jam, or it could be a traffic jam where you're all jammed or pushed together. Jam, J-A-M. J-A-M, stretch it, dip, jam, jam. Number four.
glad. Stretch it. Glad. Glad. They are all glad. Another word for glad is happy. G L A D. G L A D. Glad. Number four. Number five. Hmm, here we go. We've got a. What are all these examples of? List. Stretch it out. List. 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 L I S T. L I S T. Our Henry and Mudge list one of spelling words. Sad, dig, jam, glad, list, win, flat, if, fix, rip, kit, mask, as, his, sandwich, nick. So that is a list of spelling words. List. 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 Number six. Win. All these people want to win the race or the game. Win. Stretch it out. Win. Win. Shrink it. Win. W-I-N. Win. Stretch it again. Win. Shrink it. Win. W-I-N. Number seven. All of these are examples of number seven, flat. We have a flat tire. The chipmunk or squirrel is laying flat and we have a flat screen TV, flat. Stretch it out, flat, flat, shrink it. Flat, I'm stretching it out, shrink it, flat, F-L-A-T. All right. All the highlighted words on these books. If, if you give a mouse a cookie, if you give a mouse a moose a muffin, if you give a dog a donut, if you give a pig a pancake. Those are all great books. I challenge you to read them. If, stretch it out. If, shrink it, if, stretch it out, if, shrink it, if, I-F, if. Number nine, these are all examples of what? Fix. We can fix it. Yes, we can fix. Stretch it out. Fix. Shrink it. Fix. Stretch it out again. Fix. Shrink it. Fix. F I X. Fix. F I X. Fix. Number 10. Look at the picture clues. Rip. Stretch it out. Rip. Rip. Shrink it. Rip. Stretch it out again. Rip. Shrink it. Rip. R I P. R I P. Rip. Number 11. What are all these examples of? Mask, stretch it out, mask, 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 M-A-S-K, M-A-S-K. We've got a mask that you would wear at a party. We've got a catcher's mask. We've got a scuba mask, mask. Number 12. Two different examples. Kit, as in Kit Kat, 
or a first aid kit. Stretch it out, kit. Shrink it, kit. Stretch it out, kit. Shrink, shrink it, kit. It has the word it in it, kit. Number 13, he is, he is, was, I think I made a mistake here. He was as hungry blank a lion. Mrs. Pearson made a mistake in that sentence. Number 13, he was as hungry as a lion. As, and look, there is a, a, a lioness. Very hungry, wanting to eat that water buffalo. Hungry as a lion. A-S. As. Stretch it out. As. As. It's the Z, S has a Z sound. All right. Number 14. I saw a, I saw a blank backpack on the floor. Blank backpack on the floor. I saw his backpack on the floor. I saw his, that means a boy's backpack on the floor. Stretch it out, his, shrink it, his. Stretch it out, his, shrink it, his, H-I-S, his. This is a challenging word. It's a compound word. These are all examples of what? Number 15, sandwich. It has the a ah and the i. Sand, S-A-N-D, which, W-I-C-H, sandwich. Sandwich, S-A-N-D, W-I-C-H. Sandwich. We've got a uh, hoagie sandwich, an ice cream sandwich, and it looks like a tomato and cheese sandwich. Sandwich. Number 16, our last one. Another compound word or similar to a compound word. Pick Nick. Actually, if it was a compound word, it would have to be words that stand alone. So it's a, it has more than one syllable. Two claps. Picnic. Picnic. P-I-C-N-I-C. Picnic. -I -I so it's not a compound word, but it is a two-syllable word. Two claps. Picnic. P-I-C-N-I-C. All right, on the top of your paper, let's reflect on our learning target. Remember what our learning target was? I can correctly read and spell second grade words with short A, 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 as in sat, and short I, 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 as in lip. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I was able to read, write, and spell all the words easily and correctly. Three. I was able to read, write, and spell most of the words correctly. Two, I was able to read, write, and spell some of the words correctly. Or one, I was not able to read, write, or spell any of the words correctly. So give yourself a reflection grade on your ability to reach the learning target. How were you, how well did you hit the target by following our class expectations? So you can give yourself a grade for how well you followed class directions. Four, I'm an expert. I was fully engaged in trying. Did you try your best? Three, I'm a master. I was mostly engaged in trying. You were mostly on task. Two, I'm an apprentice. I sometimes tried. Or I'm a novice. I had a hard time participating today. So here's our challenge on your paper. You've already written your spelling words one through 16. You've already reflected on your learning and your participation. So now it's the end of the lesson. Challenge yourself. 
um, get smarter, work that brain muscle, get your crayons or your pencil, and you're going to rainbow write each word, not just once, twice, but three times each. So thank you, boys and girls, for doing the spelling lesson with me. Have a great day.